Hello and welcome to Healing Motions where I am your host Tabitha King and I come today to share about an emotion that sometimes get in our way and we don't always necessarily know that it's there to drain us and keep us in a place of negativity but sometimes when we think about the word fear it tends to sometimes paralyze us and also causes trauma and chronic pain in our bodies so with the word fear I found that you recognize that fear is found in your amygdala of your brain which is the middle um, part of the small organ in your brain and it, um, it when it works it tends to alert your nervous system which sets your body's fear response into motion so when we find that we have an issue with fear in our bodies it can sometimes cause a lot of pain and the fear is a complex human emotion that can be either positive and healthy or it can be a negative consequence I found that sometimes when you dwell on what you are afraid of it causes more pain in your body it causes more um, upset in your mind and sometimes you're thinking more about things that are causing you stress instead of focusing on the positive in your life adrenaline and cortisol are stress hormones that are released and your blood pressure and your heart rate increases when you are dealing with fear your body is preparing for fight or flight response and we need to recognize when we're having those issues or if we're having those moments where we want to start throwing punches or running for your life then we need to get to the point where we are doing something different in those moments so fear does try to show up in your body in those different fight or flight ways. Sometimes we have hidden or unexpressed feelings that become frozen in the structure of your body, which sometimes can be found in your spine or in your back, and sometimes in the backs of your legs. And most of your powerful emotions like anger or fear are stored in your back. So what we want to do when we find this happening, we want to do something different. And I was reading in my um, Joyce Meyer's book, um, The Power Thoughts, and she said that what the Lord had showed her, the only thing she needed to do was to think about something else. And we have to remember that sometimes we don't even know that we are thinking about the fear or the, what's uh, keeping us afraid but when we start to think about something else then we can see the positive that can come out of what we're thinking instead of always thinking about the fearful things that is on our minds something about um, I think that there was somebody said that um, Franklin D. Roosevelt stated that I'm sorry, I'm trying to get in my notes. But he had said, I want to get it right. I don't want to say it wrong, but he had mentioned that. Oh, sorry, I can't even find it. But anyway, it's really, um, I want to say it right, but it's on the tip of my tongue when we are fearing when we have fear all we are doing is having fear in itself and I know that's not the right words <laughs> but here it is right here the only thing we have to fear is fear itself I knew it was right there and I couldn't think of it <laughs> but that's it the only thing we have to fear is fear itself and when we start to realize that in those moments where we want to fear the biggest reason why people give up or why people slow down or why people don't reach their power their potential is because of fear and fear that they're not good enough or fear that they will fail or fear that they aren't qualified 
But God does not call the qualified. He qualifies those who are called. I'm going to say that again. God does not um, call the qualified, but he qualifies those who are called. Sometimes we get so focused on the things that we are not qualified to do. But when we start to focus on things and make it seem as if we are are perfect in ourselves, then we get messed up in those thoughts. So we have to realize and recognize that we are not supposed to be living life in a way where, oh yeah, I'm, I'm perfect in where I need to be. No, God calls us and when he calls us, we need to do what he calls us to do, which is listen and find a way to hear from him. Not be in control of things, but give control to God so that he can work it out in us what needs to be fixed in us so that we can do the work for him. So like, for instance, I've been dealing with some different things in my life recently, which have tried to cause me to just stress out and get all fearful because I don't know what's next or what's going to happen. But all he wants us to do is have faith and have courage to believe that he is going to work things out for our good. And if we believe that those things are going to happen for our good, then nothing else matters. No weapon formed against us will prosper. If we start to believe that we're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus, then everything else will be okay. So I know that sometimes we want to think about the things that are going wrong in our lives. But when we start to give God the glory and and be joyful in the midst of our struggles, then he gets the glory in that. So I started to think about, okay, well, let me think about things that gives me peace, things that causes me joy. How can I be happy where I am and content where I am in this moment? How can I deal with my life struggles in the midst of what I'm going through without feeling pain? All I have to do is look up to Jesus and say, all of my help comes from him. I know that I am able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all because God is in me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Also, believing that he will make a way out of no way in the midst of my struggles, I can believe that all things are working out for my good. If I can be real with what I'm feeling and know that everything is working out for my good, I don't have to be afraid of what I'm feeling. I can say, yes, okay, I'm, I'm seeing this fear for what it is. And what it is is, <clears throat> it's just one of those things that we go through. I'm not going to be phony about it and say, no, I'm, a, I'm not afraid or I don't have the fear. Yeah, I sometimes have those feelings. And in the midst of those feelings, that I know that he is working things out in the midst of it all. I remember a story about when Noah was going through and building the ark. And he was building this ark where they had no rain. They never had rain before. But even in the midst of that, he, he was believing that God was going to make a way out of no way for his family. He was telling everybody all around him, and they was thinking he was crazy. But on this 20th day, when people were telling him, man, you're crazy, you're not going to make it through, he still believed. He still held on to his faith. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. No matter what, um, what fears may come up in the midst of my storm, in the midst of my struggles, I know that God is going to work things out for my good. And I might look crazy even when I don't know the different things that are going on. I know that God is going to work it out for my good. So in the midst of it, I just want you to continue to believe, continue to have faith and live beyond your feelings and know that God is working things out for your good. So I wanted to just drop by today just to say that with you today and let you know that no matter what comes up and how fear may show up in your body, don't allow it to become a chronic pain in your body. Just allow it to sit for a moment, become aware of it, and then give it to Jesus. Let go and let God in the midst of your struggles. 
I know that I have had those moments. So I just I start to sing songs in the in the midst of my struggles, praising worship and giving God the praise in the midst of it all because when I start to praise God, oh my God, I feel so much better. I feel peace. I feel joy. I can sing his goodness and know that all these things are working out for my good. So I just wanted to share that with you today. That if you're feeling a little down, if you're feeling fear in the midst of your struggles right now, don't worry about it. Give it to God. Pray about it. Give those things and, and, and just be re be real with God. Let Him know, God, I, I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. I don't understand what's going on in my life right now. But I know that you do. I know that you've already seen what's about to happen. I know that you've already worked it out for my good. I know that you've already said that everything happens for a reason. I know that these things happening are happening so that I can be strengthened by your love, by your joy, and know that you are with me through it all. So whatever you're going through, don't go through it alone. Please come through to my support group where we are able to give you more of a of a, a leading on God and I can pray with you and pray for you and know that God is with you through the midst of your struggles know that God is there with you and he will give you everything you need he supplies all of our needs no matter what so I'm here today just to share with you that no matter what you're going through please if you're feeling like you're in this alone you're not come by and join my free community where I will continue to share and give you things, give you little nuggets to help you on your journey, to help you to know that you can live beyond your feelings. You can move past this moment of fear and know that you are God's child. You are his anointed and he called you for such a time as this. So sister, I, I pray that you will continue to be blessed and will be able to find that strength that you are so needing in this time and realize and recognize that just the need to be grateful in the midst of your struggles he will give you peace of mind and joy in the midst of it all you have an awesome awesome day please feel free to join my chronic pain warriors group where i continue to um, give nuggets where god has given me to help you on this journey and remember, no weapon formed against you will prosper. You are a conqueror. You are an overcomer if you truly believe. Have an awesome day.